Hi, welcome to my video on descending powers of a polynomial with the same variable. With the same variable. Descending powers. Descending powers or exponents mean the exponents are going down from highest to lowest. Ascending would be going from the lowest to the highest, but full docking for the descending powers. A constant term has an exponent of zero with any variable. Hence, it is the lowest. Examples of constant terms with zero exponents is a six, which is six x to the zero, where you can have a minus four. It could be a minus four y to the zero. So if you see a constant, a constant is always on the right side, the last one on the right side, going down, because it's got a zero exponent for the variable. Let's do some examples. Write each in descending powers, or what they call descending order. So they say descending powers are writing in descending order. And we always write polynomials in descending order, always. When you simplify them, when you add, subtract, you multiply, divide, whatever you're going to do, you always, always put them in descending powers. So we look at as a one, as a constant, which is zero, x to the 0 and 2, so we have x squared, we have a 2x, and we have a 4. x squared goes first, 2x goes second, and 4 goes third. The constant is on the end. We got a 3, a 1, and a 0. So we got a negative 4x cubed plus x plus 8. Descending order. Notice when I move them, I don't change the sign, just rearranging the order. And we don't have, we want a decent descending order. So we got an a, all A's. So A to the fourth is the highest. Done. We got an A cubed. So we got a negative 2A cubed. Done. We got an A squared. Yep, done. We got a 7A. And the last one is negative 1. So that's the descending order. 4, 3, 2. That's a 1 understood. And that's a 0. That's A to the 0. D, we got x's, all same terms, or sorry, the same variable. So we have the highest is 3 to the 5. The next is a 2, negative x squared. And then it's an x, a 6x. And the constant term is the last term on the right, because it got x to the 0. We got two terms here, so we have a 10x plus 8. The constant term goes at the end because it got x to the 0. So that's a 1. That's x to the 0. So that's the descending order. So if you're doing the descending order here and you want a bit of practice, work these out. Pause your video, work them out, and check your answers when you do the playback. We got 7x squared. We have, oh, I got an x cubed. Not careful now. So that's a 0, 2, 3, 1. So be careful. So I got an x cubed is first, 7x squared is next, 9x is next, and then the constant is on the end. Okay, so that's a 1, 4, 2, and that's a 0. So x to the fourth is first. 8x squared is next. You're done. Then I got the 4x is next, and I got the negative 2 on the end because that's the constant. And I got a constant, x squared, and an x, that's a 1. So I got x squared goes first, negative 6x goes next, and the constant, which is, as understood to be a plus. Yep, there's a plus because I don't see a minus. I would say that. So there's the order. And I got a 0 here that goes on the end. That's a square and that's a 4. So 9x to the 4 goes first, negative 3x squared. And then the minus 7 in descending order. There's only three of them, so I really didn't have to scratch any out. I got five terms here, so I'll work on that's a 2, 4, that's a 1, that's a constant term x to the 0, and that's a 3. So the highest one is 4. The next one is the 3x cubed minus 6x cubed. Next one is x squared. 
that was I mentioned there's a plus because there's no minus there and then you got your x so that's a minus x and your plus three your constant term is on the end notice the descending order you go down from highest to lowest and the constant term is always on the right because it's a zero exponent to the zero power now practice these let's see let's work these out uh, practice means when you see the word practice it means you pause the video and you work out all the answers and then play back to see if you're right and if you're right perfect if you're not then you can go back and review or find it and definitely find out where your mistakes are this will help you make your learning better simplify each and arrange in descending order now we're going to simplify these first and we're going to arrange them in descending order but what we're going to do we're going to put them in descending order first as we do it so we're going to group our like terms and put them in descending order at the same time but before we start let's add on the opposites done that's done so the descending order here would be uh, squares so that's a one that's a constant that's a two that's a constant that's a, a one that's a two so x squared plus 2x squared now I have x is going x so it's a 9x and plus a negative 11x so they're done and what do I have left plus 3 plus 7 so there they are as I simplify these I will put them in descending order on the single variable you're doing there's no good to group the x's and then group the constants and then group the squares and you could you could do that and add them up but it's better as you're working these out put them in descending order so that's a 1 understood so 1 plus 2 is 3 there you go 9 add on negative 11 is negative 2x and 3 plus 7 is 10 and if you want just to you can leave off that plus a negative and just write subtract 2 or negative that's subtract 2 is same as add on negative 2 your choice number 2 was the highest power here a 3 that's a 1 that's a constant that's a square that's a 1 that's a square that's a cube and that's a constant so before we start let's add on the opposite double negative is a positive double negative is a positive uh, subtract 6 add on negative 6 subtract 3 add on negative 3 so I've gotten rid of all the subtraction signs now we go in descending order 3 is the highest so x cubed done and we got another x cubed any more x cubed no nope. next is x squared okay x squared here and we got an x squared right there so x is next so that's plus 5x done and that's a plus 5x that's done and that's a plus 7 and a plus negative 3 so I got them all crossed out I used them all 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 2 4 6 yep got them all and we add we add like terms we keep the literal coefficients and we get a 3 negative 1 plus 4 is 3 add I get a that's a 1 1 and negative 6 is a negative 5x squared done 5 and 5 makes 10 so that's a 10x and our constants is a plus 4 7 add on negative 3 is a 4 subtract them and you got more pluses and there there it is simplified in descending order number three add on the opposites add on negative two double negative is a positive and you're adding on negative five so the highest exponent here is a two three that's a constant that's a three that's a constant three two so the highest one here is a three so y cubed done negative add on negative 2 x cube done I'll open oh, another cube be careful make sure you pick them all up 3 3 3 any more threes nope 
Next after that should be a square. There's a square there. Done. And we got a square there. Done. Do we have any Y's? We got three and then two. Is any Y's? Nope. So we pick up the constant. Done. So we got them all picked up. And we add one. That's a negative one and one. So that gives me a zero. So a zero. Just a zero Y squared. When you add these up, you get a zero. So that's understood to be cancelling out, give you zero, and we don't put the zero in. Uh, one, and so one, add on, oh, add on negative five is negative four y squared, and six plus four is ten. So notice, these add up to give me zero, so I don't, I don't write zero y squared here. Notice that the y is missing, and that's a zero y. Number four, add on the opposites, double negative, double negative, add on negative 10. And I got a constant, two, one, two, constant, one. So the highest exponent here is a two. So we put the x squared first. Done. We put the x's after. x to the one, and we got negative 10 to the one. And we got the organ, and this is constants left, so it's a negative six or plus a negative. Add on eight, add them up, we get six x squared, negative, add on negative seven x squared, and plus two. And if you want, you could write, you could add that with a plus negative or subtract seven. Note. Polynomials in the same variable are normally written in descending order, not ascending. Descending order. Descending. That takes us to the end of this video. And if you like what I'm doing, click the like button, subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber, and the notification bell if you don't have to click because there are more videos coming. Write a comment on the videos if you wish. And visit my math website is mathfullyexplained.com. And in those on that website, you get information in three different sections. Me, that's my degrees in teaching experience outline. The section on video tells you about the teaching strategies you're going to use to help you learn your math. And the content section has the topics or the units that I'm going to have online and tells you about the number of videos that I have on each of those topics. Some videos, some sections got uh, five videos, some got 20, and they're done in sequence. And the black, con the black font is what's online already, and the red font is what will be there in the near future. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.